All right, so today we're going to be making something I'm really excited about because I've been making them for a little bit now. Um, this one is very hotly debated in terms of uh, preference. The idea uh, for it came out of a drink called the Cafe Romano out of the Italian region. Um, brief little backstory about the Cafe Romano. The idea is that in Italy, they do a lot of medium, medium dark, and dark roast for their espresso shots, but sometimes they like something a little bit brighter, a little bit sweeter, and a little bit more well-rounded, a little more complex even. Um, so the idea for the Cafe Romano came out because a lot of people like to enjoy a little bit of lemon in their, in their espresso. Um, so the theory was that they could cut a nice thick slice of lemon, juice a little bit into their cup, and then they'd pull their shot of espresso over it. To cut a long story short, the idea is that it'll take a medium roast down to a light roast. It'll bring out a lot of the fruity notes, the floral notes, the sweeter, more complex notes of espresso. It doesn't become as earthy anymore or as uh, chocolatey or even more, you know, of that, that kind of standard espresso feel. Um, yeah, it'll take a medium down to a light roast. So the idea for the Cafe Romano, combined with me making orange juice and espresso beverages, had me starting to bring lemonade into my espresso. And then, a few weeks ago, we were messing around with strawberry lattes, and the idea of a strawberry lemonade espresso palmer was born. The beans we're going to be using are the tropical weather beans from Onyx. You get a lot of uh, mixed berries, sweet tea, raw honey, and plum. So this is already a very complex, modern roast, uh, as is almost anything that Onyx does. It's very interesting in its profiles compared to a lot of other roasters. And just right on the nose, before they're ground, they smell really sweet, really light, airy, just feels summery. So it's going to balance really well with what we're making today. We are going to start out with about 15 and a half grams of this. 15.5 because my basket's really only about a 15 gram basket. This is our fun little wetting the finger action to remove the static from the, from the coffee beans before we grind it. And this just reduces grinder retention. It produces more of a more of a consistent grind out of everything. You reduce a lot of the fines out of it as much as you can. Every grinder is going to produce fines, but you want to reduce it as much as possible. Give it a nice shake. Got to give it a couple of taps. Make sure we get all the grinds out of there. And this is what we're working with. What we're doing is we're getting that group head and the porta filter up to about 90 degrees Celsius. That way we're not shocking the coffee with any cold steel on it. We want to make sure that it's prepped and ready for the warm water that's going to be forced through it. We also want to make sure we dry the portafilter out because we don't want any of that, any of that water that was forced through the shower screen with some of the grinds on it sitting on there. We're going to try and get as much of these into the portafilter as possible. This is also a process that's about to get a whole lot easier around here. Get rid of some of the air pockets between the grinds. This little flat in the bed. This is done in lieu of a wedge distributor. This off a little bit. Start with a bit of a flat bed there. Shooting for a good even pressure. Not bad. Sit that right in there. And we're shooting for about two tablespoons or 30 grams of syrup in here. Switch that over to ounces. We're gonna be shooting for about, about four and a half ounces of lemonade. We don't wanna overpower the sweetness from the strawberry, but we also wanna make sure we're bringing out that lemon flavor to everything. We ended up going to six, which is okay. Really like adding tonic water to these. Tonic water has a nice herbal note to it, so it's going to bring out some of the more savory aspects, not really a word you associate with lemonade. We're going to add about an ounce of tonic water. Coming out a little quick. Looks good, though. 
I'm gonna cut it at about 18 seconds. Really make this as Instagrammable as possible. And there we have it. That is the strawberry lemonade espresso palmer. A little bit of tonic water to bring out the herbal notes of everything. You gotta take a picture. So, pictures are in. Instagram ready. Now to find out how it tastes. Cheers.